Welcome home. Dinner's ready. But do you want to shower first? Hey, are you listening? Here we go again. When he's in a bad mood, my husband Lloyd ignores me. I'm used to it, but it still doesn't feel good. This time, however, was different. His mood usually improves in a few days, but this time it lasted for weeks. And he even ignored our daughter, Nina. I have to do something for Nina's sake. Just when I was thinking this, Nina came up with an unexpected suggestion. My name is Maya, and I'm 33 years old. Lloyd and I are the same age, and we've been married for seven years. Shortly after getting married, we were blessed with a child, and Nina was born. Nina is about to start elementary school, and she seems to be growing up fast. Every day when she comes home from the child care center, she tells me about her day. Hey, Mom, today I drew pictures with Nancy. Oh, that sounds fun. Did you enjoy it? Yes, I drew pictures of Mom, Dad, and Nina. I'll show it to Dad later. He'll be thrilled, I'm sure. I wish Dad would come home soon. Lloyd had been working late a lot lately. We used to have dinner together, but these days it's often just Nina and me. Nina understands that Lloyd is busy, but she's still a little lonely. I can tell from the things she says and her expressions. Several hours later, close to midnight, Lloyd finally came home. Ah, welcome back, Lloyd. Dinner's ready, but do you want to shower first? Hey, are you listening? And it starts again. When Lloyd is in a bad mood, he ignores me like this. No matter what I ask, he won't respond. But I can't just leave it at that. If Lloyd is going to eat, I have to prepare dinner. If not, I have to put it away. I asked him again as he tiredly took off his suit. So Lloyd, what about dinner? If you're not eating, I'll put it in the fridge. Lloyd, what are you going to do? Enough is enough. If you don't want anything, I'm putting it away. As I was about to get up from my chair, Lloyd went to the fridge, took out a beer, and started drinking. That's his signal for me to prepare dinner. <sighs> I sighed, but reheated the food and set it in front of him. Not a word of thanks. He won't even make eye contact. I'm used to it, but it's not a good feeling. It's infuriating to be treated like this. Still, I do my minimum duty as a wife, all for Nina's sake. Lloyd may ignore me when he's in a bad mood, but he's a good dad in front of Nina. No matter how cold he is to me, he always responds when Nina talks to him. He used to play with her when he got home from work, and he'd often take her out on his days off. To him, being a good dad for Nina, I do my best to support him as his wife. And I do everything I can to improve his mood, even if it's just a little bit sooner. Lloyd eats the dinner I prepared in silence. So I quietly say to him, I'm going to bed. Good night. Of course, there's no response from him. Even though I know this, it's lonely not to have even basic conversations. How long will this last this time? It's been as long as two or three days before. I'm tired from work too, so I hope Lloyd's mood improves soon. With that thought, I fall asleep. The next day, as I'm preparing breakfast, Lloyd walks into the living room. Good morning, Maya and Nina. It seems his mood has improved. I'm relieved it happened so quickly, and I respond with a good morning. Nina, happy to talk to Lloyd in the morning, runs to him with a big smile. Dad, I want to go to the amusement park. Amusement park, huh? Sure, let's go on the next long weekend. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, let's make it a family outing. Yay, I love you, Dad. Ha <laughs> ha, Dad loves you too, Nina. Lloyd lifts Nina up and smiles happily. Nina is also thrilled about the promise to go to the amusement park. He was so moody yesterday, but now he's completely back to normal. And he's also communicating well with Nina. 
I decide to let last night's incident slide. For a while after that, Lloyd's good mood continues. He comes home late, but there's nothing particularly upsetting, and we spend our days relatively peacefully. Today, Lloyd is working late again. After putting Nina to bed and waiting, he walks into the living room past 11 p.m. Welcome back. Dinner's ready. Uh, Lloyd? Here we go again. And today, his expression is clearly tense. It's obvious that he's in a bad mood. To avoid making it worse, I quickly prepare some beer and snacks. But Lloyd, perhaps disliking my anticipatory actions, glances at the food I prepared and heads straight for the shower. Despite Nina sleeping, he slams the door shut. What's going on? I went out of my way to prepare this for him. If you're not going to eat, at least say something. I have work too, and I'm basically raising our child on my own. I was already tired, and my irritation was reaching its limit. I'll just go to sleep today. Just as I was heading to the bedroom, a notification sound came from Lloyd's discarded suit. It was already past midnight. Who could it be at this hour? Curiosity overcame my anger towards Lloyd, and I cautiously checked his phone. What? What is this? The sender of the text was registered as Anita. It was immediately clear that she was someone Lloyd was having an affair with. Can't wait to see you after work today. Sure, let's meet at our usual spot. I'll tell my wife I'm working late. You're such a bad boy, Lloyd. You're married too, Anita. Same difference. <laughs> True, as long as we don't get caught. The last text read, I think I'm going to end this. My husband is getting suspicious. I felt nauseous looking at the unbelievable exchange. I can't believe it. He's been lying all this time. All those late nights were because he was meeting her. Checking the dates, it seemed they had fought on the days Lloyd had been ignoring me. So that's why he was in such a bad mood today. I wanted to smash Lloyd's phone, but that would destroy the evidence. I took photos of the text exchange with my phone and put his phone back in his suit pocket. Normally, I'd confront Lloyd as soon as he came out of the bathroom and make him confess everything. But if I did that now, I'd just end up yelling at him. It's late, and Nina is asleep. I don't want to upset her over some stupid marital spat. I'll ask my parents to look after Nina soon. Then I can have a proper talk with Lloyd. With that decision, I chose to sleep silently that night. In the end, Lloyd's silent treatment lasted a whole week. Probably because his fight with his affair partner was dragging on. But he was still kind to Nina during that time so I didn't probe further. Then one day, as I was preparing breakfast and talking to Nina, Lloyd woke up. His expression was gloomy, and it was unclear whether his mood had improved. To check, I greeted him cheerfully. Good morning, Lloyd. Breakfast will be ready soon. Do you want fried eggs or scrambled eggs? It seemed Lloyd's mood hadn't improved yet. He completely ignored me and sulked while fiddling with his phone. Nina was nearby, so I suppressed my rising anger and pretended to be calm. Then Nina, who had been watching the exchange, asked me curiously, Mom, it seems like Dad can't hear you. Uh, yes, it looks like Dad is still sleepy. Really? But you're talking to him so close. Can't he hear? Well, that's, um... As I struggled to respond to Nina's innocent question, she turned to Lloyd and spoke loudly. Dad, Mom is asking you, do you want fried eggs or scrambled eggs? I was honestly relieved by Nina's actions. Even if Lloyd ignores me, he never ignores Nina. If Nina asks, he has to answer. That's what I thought, but today was different. Silence lingered, and Lloyd didn't respond. Nina kept asking him, Hey, Dad, are you listening? 
Choose between fried eggs and scrambled eggs. Mom can't prepare it if you don't decide. Come on, Dad. Stop looking at your phone and answer my question. The next moment, Nina clung to Lloyd's leg. Tsk. Lloyd let out an exaggerated sigh towards Nina. What? Is this a joke? Is he planning to ignore Nina, too? He started changing without saying a word and left for work. The front door slammed shut, echoing loudly. At that moment, an indescribable rage surged through me. Unbelievable. Is he ignoring Nina, too? I can't let this selfish behavior go on. I need to confront him and divorce him as soon as possible. As I trembled with anger, Nina spoke softly. Mom, can Dad not see me? What? He couldn't see you either. It seems. Is something wrong with Dad? I, I don't think. I was at a loss for words. Trying to maintain my composure, I responded. No, it's not that he can't see. Then why doesn't Dad answer you, Mom? Can he really not see? It's not like that, I told you. Listen, Mom, I have a good idea. A good idea? <laughs> so listen. What came out of Nina's mouth was a bold plan that even I, as an adult, couldn't have thought of. After hearing Nina's entire plan, I decided to go along with it. We discussed it further and decided to execute the plan starting today. That night, Lloyd came home with a smile as if the morning sour mood had never happened. He was holding a box of donuts and looking at his phone with a creepy smile. Apparently, he had made up with his affair partner. Feeling good, he probably decided to treat us to some family time as well. Usually, he comes home late, but today it was only 7 p.m. Without apologizing for this morning, Lloyd started talking as if nothing had happened. I'm home. I got back early today. So let's have dinner together for a change. Ignoring Lloyd's words, both Nina and I remained silent. His expression froze for a moment, but he continued undeterred. Hey Maya, Nina, how about dinner together? Just as Lloyd was speaking, Nina interrupted to talk to me. Hey mom, the spaghetti and meatballs for dinner were delicious. Oh, I'm glad you love spaghetti and meatballs, don't you? Ignoring Lloyd, I responded to Nina. Yeah, I love the spaghetti and meatballs you make, Mom. I want to have burgers tomorrow. <laughs> if you say so, I'll make anything you want, Nina. Really? Yay! As if Lloyd wasn't even there, Nina and I continued our conversation, ignoring him. Confused or not, Lloyd just stood there, stunned. Unwilling to accept being ignored, he kept trying to talk to us. Uh, Maya, Nina, I brought some donuts you both love. Hey, Mom, I'm looking forward to going to the amusement park, just the two of us. Yeah, what ride should we go on? Um, I thought I'd go to the amusement park, too. Nina's happy as long as she's with Mom. Nina loves Mom. Thank you, Nina. Mom's happy as long as you're here, too. Hey, both of you. You can hear me, right? Stop ignoring me. Hmm. Where did that go? I wonder. I have no idea. Mom's just as clueless. Please, stop ignoring me. For Lloyd, who had been ignoring us as he pleased, being on the receiving end must have been hard to bear. Eventually, with tears in his eyes, he collapsed to his knees in front of us. Seeing Lloyd's pathetic state, Nina said with a smile, Dad, do you understand how Mom and I feel now? Caught off guard, Lloyd let out a small, Uh. Do you know how sad it is to be ignored? You didn't know, did you? I, I. So, I decided if Dad won't answer us, then Mommy and I will do the same to you. It's not nice, is it? Unable to counter Nina's logic, Lloyd was speechless. Feeling sorry for him, I told Nina to go to her room for a bit, leaving Lloyd and me alone in the living room. 
Using Nina like that is low. The moment Nina left, Lloyd started complaining. I handed him something. What, Maya? What is this? Don't you know? It's divorce papers. Why? Why divorce? Why? At this point, you still don't understand how terrible what you've done is? Terrible? I was just tired and didn't feel like responding. In Lloyd's mind, it was just ignoring. Why make a big deal out of it now, when it had been tolerated before? That's probably what he was thinking. But this time was different. He lied to his family, had an affair, and even ignored Nina. For me, that was unforgivable. To Lloyd, who probably still didn't understand his wrongdoing, I said calmly, You may think you just ignored us. I could have tolerated being ignored myself. But you ignored Nina too, didn't you? I, I was just irritable because I had just woken up. Just woken up? Don't you mean had a fight with your affair partner? Uh. Lloyd's face turned pale, and he began to sweat profusely. I spoke clearly to Lloyd. Do you understand the gravity of what you've done? It's far worse than just ignoring me. I'm sorry, but that doesn't mean we have to divorce. Excuse me? You think you can ignore our daughter, lie to your family and cheat, and we'll just continue as a family? You've hurt and betrayed me and Nina. I'm done with you. Stay out of our lives. I grabbed the bags I had packed in advance and left the house with Nina. Lloyd kept begging. Forgive me, it was my fault. But his words fell on deaf ears. Nina also urged, Mom, let's go. No one was on Lloyd's side anymore, not even Nina. Finally, I was able to leave Lloyd. He was reluctant to agree to the divorce, so I hired a lawyer. With solid evidence of his affair, he quickly agreed to the divorce through the lawyer. I also claimed alimony in the divorce settlement, and the lawyer visited the woman Lloyd had an affair with to confirm the facts. As a result, her husband found out about the affair. Apparently, her husband was a scary guy, and Lloyd was chased around by him, who was armed all night. But the story doesn't end there. The husband of Lloyd's affair partner reported the incident to Lloyd's company. Since the woman was also a co-worker and both had poor work attitudes, they were fired. I claimed not only the settlement, but also child support from Lloyd. He asked for a reduction, but I flatly refused. I'll make that man, who made our family suffer, pay for what he's done. He got what he deserved. As for me, I moved back to my parents' home with Nina, and am now living peaceful days with their support. I consulted with my company and switched to remote work, so now I can spend time with Nina while continuing my job. Mom, let's go shopping soon. All right, just a moment. Tomorrow's breakfast is pancakes. Nina will help too. Then let's make them together. Okay. It may make Nina sad in the future by not having a father around. Even so, I swear in my heart that I will make Nina happy. With that vow, I tightly held little Nina's hand.